little more sunshine. Um, I think a lot of you know who I am, but for those of you who don't, let me go ahead and introduce myself more fully. Um, Leslie Oldershaw, I've been practicing 15 years, and I graduated from ACTCM in 1993, and I went through school with a real focus on women's health, and I was very fortunate when I was in school at the time, uh, Li Fong Liang was still teaching a lot of classes and working a lot in the clinic, so I was able to really work closely with her, and that's where I first developed a real uh, love for working with fertility and started to really develop my expertise in that area. And then I was also quite fortunate to do a postgraduate internship for three years with Dr. Bick Jane Tang, who's no longer in practice. She retired some years ago, but she was one of the first acupuncturists in the San Francisco Bay Area to specialize in fertility. And she was licensed number 52, so she got here pretty early on and did a great job. Um, and I was, I was lucky to be able to work with her. And that's where I learned a lot of my Chinese medicine fertility. I went to college as a pre-med and had a very strong interest in biochemistry and Western medicine. And I never really lost that as I was going through my training in Chinese medicine. I really maintained a lot of, of um, interest in and studying of Western medicine as well. And so integrating the two was something that I had wanted to do from the beginning of my training and have continued to do so. So that's what has led me to where we are today, which is going to be talking about actually a very Western um, piece of that integrative practice, which is looking at Western laboratory work. But I'm also going to be talking to you probably more towards the end of the day, but filtered um, throughout, about how to look at the Western lab work holistic perspective and a functional medicine perspective. Because the thing that we we get as acupuncturists is we get trained in this incredible holistic system that teaches us how to look at the individual as an ecosystem and to understand how if something is out of balance over here it's probably creating an imbalance over here and you can't look at just this narrow compartment here you have to really look at the whole system and we certainly learn that that's our training in Chinese medicine and to take that kind of infrastructure and understanding and then integrate the Western medical science into that, it really gives us not only fabulous tools, but a really, really strong foundation for understanding how to help people get to good health. So what I want to do, uh, take just a first a few moments to show you. Um, these are going to be what we'll do um, after we go through the basic material. So when I thought about putting this course together, the real motivation I had was that I know a lot of us are out there doing great work with patients and great work with fertility patients. And there are things that, that we really um, want to know about how to best work with and support fertility patients that aren't necessarily straight up Chinese medicine. And understanding what the lab work looks like and, and what it's telling us and when we might want to get it done, that's really valuable information to have. And so my goals with this course are, first of all, for any of you who are not already familiar with the lab work, for fertility workups to go ahead and give you a good overview of what that is. For those of you who are already familiar with it, hopefully you'll get a deeper understanding of what those labs are and what they can tell us and how to work with them. And then um, at, the, at the more entry level or beginner's level to, to have a good understanding of what labs you want to see and when you want to see them. So at least you have a checklist where if you're working with a fertility patient, you at least know what you should see. And if they don't have those labs already, then you know that they need to get those labs. And if you're not doing them, at least you know that you should be referring them out to someone else. And, and then at the um, intermediate level, to have you feel more comfortable about ordering those labs and starting to interpret them yourselves. And at the more advanced level, we're going to be touching upon some other labs that are not strictly the fertility workup, but give us as holistic practitioners, practitioners of functional medicine, a great amount of information to really help 
work with and support our patients. So I, I know that we probably have a mixed All right, so what we're going to be going over today, um, I'm going to start with an introduction. Then we're going to talk about timelines. When do you want to get these labs done? We're going to talk about the different types of testing. There's uh, blood testing. You can also do imaging, diagnostic imaging. There's also urine testing, and there's also saliva testing. Uh, we'll talk about the specifics of the fertility workup. We'll also get into the comprehensive wellness panel. Now that not the standard fertility workup, but this is one of the areas where we as holistic practitioners can work with blood chemistry to really do a great job for our patients to understand their whole picture. And I've got some great case histories for you later today that are, I think, illustrative of why running a, more, a comprehensive wellness panel is, um, is valuable. And then we'll get into assessment. We'll talk about when to refer, and we'll talk about case management. And at the end, um, I've got some resources listed if you guys want to do further studies. OK, and I've included some diagrams for you. And those will come up in the course of the lecture. This is 